Today, we're diving deep into the profound teachings of Neville Goddard, exploring the concept that you are a magnet, and how you can always get what you visualize. So let's unlock the secrets of becoming truly magnetic and manifesting your desires. Neville Goddard's teachings are centered around the power of your thoughts and feelings in shaping your reality. He often emphasized the concept that you are a magnet, drawing into your life whatever you consistently hold in your mind. So, let's explore how to become magnetic and manifest your desires effortlessly. Now, Neville teaches us that desire is a powerful force. It's not about lacking something. Rather, it's a guide indicating what you wish to experience. Desires are not about the physical object. They are about the feeling associated with having that object. Whether it's safety, security, happiness, or abundance, these are the feelings you truly desire. So, what's the key to manifesting your desires? Shift your focus from the external object to the internal feeling of having it. This is where the magic happens. Your feelings are the bridge between your current state and the state of having your desire. Once you live internally with the acceptance of already having what you desire, the manifestation process begins. Contrary to popular belief, manifestation is not about complicated rituals or specific techniques. Neville stresses that it's as easy as speaking an affirmation. However, the crucial part is believing and accepting that the affirmation is true for you, despite any external circumstances suggesting otherwise. Many people get caught up in the obstacles, believing them to be barriers to their desires. Neville teaches us that obstacles are merely the result of your previous state of being. They disappear once you assume the feeling of already having your desire. Remember, where you think most of the time matters, focus on the feeling, not the obstacles. Neville's teachings are not just theoretical. They are backed by countless success stories. These success stories share a common pattern, a high self-concept, a mental diet that fosters positivity and an unwavering faith in the end state of having the desired object or experience. Faith is a recurring theme in Neville's teachings. It's not about blind belief. It's about living from the end, from the state of already having your desire. Refuse to accept no for an answer, and maintain a strong faith that what you desire is destined to be yours. Now let's delve deeper into the profound concept of accepting your desires as true at this very moment. This key takeaway from Neville Goddard's teachings holds immense power in the manifestation process. It's a simple yet transformative shift in perspective that can change the way you approach your desires. Firstly, what does it mean to accept your desires as true? Well, it's about embracing the belief that what you desire is not only possible but already a part of your reality. It's acknowledging that your current circumstances and the limitations of your conscious mind don't dictate the unfolding of your desires. Your conscious mind, as Neville often emphasizes, is limited. It works based on past experiences, logic, and the information available to it. It tends to analyze situations based on what it has seen before and struggles to comprehend the intricate and unique ways through which your desires can manifest. Imagine this. You're standing at the edge of a vast ocean, and your desires are like hidden treasures beneath the surface. Your conscious mind is like a small boat, navigating the surface, trying to figure out how to reach those treasures. But the treasures are hidden in the depths, beyond the reach of your conscious understanding. This is where acceptance comes into play. Accepting your desires as true means recognizing that there is a greater power at play, a force that knows how to bring the unseen into the visible. Neville often refers to this power as the infinite intelligence, or the creative force of the universe. Having faith in this power is crucial. It's about trusting that there are ways, paths, and methods unique to your desires that are beyond your current thoughts and understanding. The power that makes the unseen visible is not bound by the limitations of your conscious mind. It operates on a level that transcends the ordinary, and it knows the perfect route to bring your desires into fruition. Think of it as placing an order at a restaurant. You don't need to know the intricate details of how the chef prepares the dish. You trust that they have the expertise to make it delicious. Similarly, when you accept your desires as true, 
you're placing an order with the universe, trusting that it knows the perfect recipe to bring your desires to life. Moreover, this acceptance is not a passive act. It's an active, intentional choice to align your thoughts and feelings with the state of already having your desires. It involves letting go of doubts, fears, and the need to figure out every step of the manifestation process. Instead, it invites you to adopt a mindset of certainty and confidence that your desires are on their way. Now, let's delve deeper into the profound concept of accepting your desires as true at this very moment. This key takeaway from Neville Goddard's teachings holds immense power in the manifestation process. It's a simple yet transformative shift in perspective that can change the way you approach your desires. Firstly, what does it mean to accept your desires as true? Well, it's about embracing the belief that what you desire is not only possible but already a part of your reality. It's acknowledging that your current circumstances and the limitations of your conscious mind don't dictate the unfolding of your desires. Your conscious mind, as Neville often emphasizes, is limited. It works based on past experiences, logic, and the information available to it. It tends to analyze situations based on what it has seen before and struggles to comprehend the intricate and unique ways through which your desires can manifest. Imagine this, you're standing at the edge of a vast ocean, and your desires are like hidden treasures beneath the surface. Your conscious mind is like a small boat, navigating the surface, trying to figure out how to reach those treasures. But the treasures are hidden in the depths beyond the reach of your conscious understanding. This is where acceptance comes into play. Accepting your desires as true means recognizing that there is a greater power at play, a force that knows how to bring the unseen into the visible. Neville often refers to this power as the infinite intelligence, or the creative force of the universe. Having faith in this power is crucial. It's about trusting that there are ways, paths, and methods unique to your desires that are beyond your current thoughts and understanding. The power that makes the unseen visible is not bound by the limitations of your conscious mind. It operates on a level that transcends the ordinary, and it knows the perfect route to bring your desires into fruition. Think of it as placing an order at a restaurant. You don't need to know the intricate details of how the chef prepares the dish. You trust that they have the expertise to make it delicious. Similarly, when you accept your desires as true, you're placing an order with the universe, trusting that it knows the perfect recipe to bring your desires to life. Moreover, this acceptance is not a passive act. It's an active, intentional choice to align your thoughts and feelings with the state of already having your desires. It involves letting go of doubts, fears, and the need to figure out every step of the manifestation process. Instead, it invites you to adopt a mindset of certainty and confidence that your desires are on their way. Neville emphasizes the power of inward attention. When you turn your attention inward and accept your desires as true, a dramatic shift occurs.